Greetings, everybody. This is Barry from HEW Machine Repair here. Today we're going to do a little video for you. We're going to do a disassembly and reassembly of the spindle pulley hub. This goes on the variable speed bridgeport head with either a one and a half horse or two horse. This is off the two horse. As you can see, this is the timing belt set up for a two horse. The horse and a half have square teeth. So let us get started on this. First step you are doing is you're removing the snap ring. You see this one is a little sticky, which means they jammed it on, which we're gonna correct that when we go back together again. Okay, second, next we will, all we do is we put it in a press. And if you don't have a press, you can knock it out with a, a soft hammer normally. Okay, here is your spindle pulley hub. The key fell out. This is the key. Just a square key is all that's in here. Now once you have that off, you spin it over and you see there is a thick spacer here that's got some ridges on it. Now because this was a little tight, I'm actually going to grind this down a few thousandths just to give us a little more room. The next we are removing the brake bearing cap from the um, stationary drive pulley. So we come over here to my two pry bars, never and fail. Just put it underneath, there's a lip on each side. And then get it under there and just pop that off. Pay homage to the bars. Okay, next we're going to do is we're going to press out the old bearing. Now you can do that again. You could tap it out if you have a rubber mallet. I actually use the, um, sp the sp spindle pulley hub to do it. Knock it out. Now at this point you're going to inspect your brake bearing cap. This is a newer one. This is um, in really good shape still. But you're going to look for very fine cracks here and here. Um, example, if that bearing would just fall out, that means this part is cracked and you're going to need to replace it. Next up, we're going to put in the new bearing. Okay, we're ready to reassemble. Um, bearing number 1558 is what goes in here. See, we use the SKF Japanese brand. And basically, same thing, we're going to press this in. There. Now again, if you push that in and it just were to fall out, you got to replace your brake bearing cap. Next, I discussed the um, spacer, these ridges. I'm going to go over and grind these off real quick, and I will be right back. We just do this on a 612 surface grinder. Okay, we've now completed the grinding. I took off five thousandths off of this. I just wanted to get enough down so my snap ring would seat better when we put it back together. So first thing we're going to do is... We are going to press the bearing onto the stationary disc. And then you can just put the ring right on top. Okay. Now we have this all pressed on. You'll notice the flange is down. The natural inclination is to want to beat the flange up, but the flange actually goes down on here. See, it's still plenty of room for clearance. <clears throat> Now we're going to put the spindle pulley hub back in. Get our keyway in there. Get it on to where it's starting. There we go. There. Now it's possible sometimes the keyway wants to kick out, and then you would use a punch and a hammer to tap it down in. But this one went in really well. So get it on there. Okay, once you have it pressed down, you will then turn it over. We're going to put our snap ring back on. Now you want it to seat well, and you know, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but all snap rings have kind of an inside taper. The taper obviously goes down to where you can push this in. 
on. Okay. We need to use a punch to get it down. There, notice how it snapped in, really good seat, but we're still tight on the bottom. So that is it, we have now successfully disassembled and reassembled the spindle pulley hub. This is where the brake rides underneath here. And so I thank you for watching. And as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.